Powerful of all beings. An imaginary creature that has giant wings for flight, possesses magical powers, and breathes fire. Yesterday, and I offered to let you stay here with me. And you're for sure positive that's what I said? Indeed! This is weird. Why am I not waking up from this dream? Unless it's not a dream. There's no way. So, um, remind me where we met? The mountains! We met in the mountains! Mountains. <laughs> I remember mountain. Okay, it's coming back. Dragon? Apparently a hilarious dragon. Oh god. So, wanna say with me, dragon? So, wanna say with me, dragon? <gasps> I'll never forget those wondrous words! I can begin working as your personal maid immediately if you want! Oh, that's a big negative. Huh? I'm not like a dragon racist or anything. I'm just not in the market right now to hire a maid. Uh yeah, no. That's not really Listen, right I can be super uh, helpful. I can turn this area into a sea of fire or curse people to death. No, no, no. But why maid instead of that? Because you said a maid would work better for you. I did, huh? Yeah, does make sense. I'm sorry, Toru. I shouldn't have made that promise. No one can change the impossible. It's not like personal. Are you certain it's impossible? Mm -hmm. Sorry. I understand. My apologies as well for dropping in so suddenly. Say with me, dragon? Why won't this stupid guilt go away? Maybe this dream is really not a dream. And if it's not, then...
What is this? I discovered some real life maids while on my way here. Meaning we'll have to start from scratch. First thing as a housemaid, you clean. Oh, I'm good at cleaning. How's that? No, it's all gone. One moment. You can bring it back. Next, laundry maid. Do laundry. I can handle that too. Hmm. I couldn't be this polite without the stain on those stains. Gross! No one wants to see that. Next, parlor maid. Greet people. Easy thing for me. Hi, I just need a signature for this delivery. The foolish inferior human is not welcome at this home. Hey. Oh, you're an exception, of course, Miss Kobayashi. Last one, kitchen maid. You cook. Cooking is my specialty. Try my very own roasted tail. No thanks. Huh? No way. What? Would you prefer it well done instead? That's not the problem. Then I'm confident you'll enjoy it immensely. I'm ethically against Dragon Tail. Aha! Uh -huh. Seems you're a picky eater, Miss Kobayashi. Dragon logic. <laughs> 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 It grows back? It took a bit longer than usual because I had to remove all the poison. And it's poisonous? Mm. Hate to break it to you, but you don't know how to make it. <laughs> then I'll learn from the ground up. Shall we start my education with you telling me what you dislike? What I dislike? I can't do hijiki or eggplant. Interesting. I'll remember that. Personally, I dislike eggs when the yolks have been removed. A while back, I had a friend named Harunsuge who was hit with one and killed. Oh, that's a powerful egg. Hold up. Why are you asking about dislikes? Shouldn't you ask what I like? No, that's bad luck. Unfortunately, I've had far too many friends slain by the very things they love most. You know, liquor and women and jewels and such. Sounds a lot like humans. However, I can certainly let you know one thing I like. It's you, I love you, Miss Kobayashi! You gonna eat me? No, not like that, like sexually! I'm not into women or dragons. Yes, but I can't put a label on what I feel for you. You saved me, and I'll use my whole body to repay the favor. Please use me to commute to work again tomorrow. Thanks, but I got enough of that earlier. You're hard. Give me a chance, Miss Kobayashi. I was raised to pay back all favors, even if they were only owed to a foolish, inferior human being. Call me crazy, but I sense bias. Toru, there is another reason I'd rather not let you fly me to work. You're back? Well, that's half of it. The other half is... You're too loud and too fast! I think a dragon's place is in the hall holding down the fort! Fort? What? You're one of the stronger dragons, aren't you? If you consider starting Armageddon strong... I do, and please don't. The world's dangerous enough without your help. I'm just saying it would be a relief to know you're here keeping the house safe for me. Uh, yes, I understand! So consider it done! So pretty. Well, I'm off to the office. If anybody calls, you can answer and take a message, yeah? What's a call? Right, you're a dragon. This is a phone. When it goes ring ring, you pick it up like so. Okay, got it. They talk, then you talk. They talk, then I talk. Okay, take care. Safe travels! <laughs> Hold the fort? Oh, is that what those people were doing? I'll just ask Fafnir for help. Kill them. Kill all who try to steal your treasure. Kill all who are suspect. Curse them with death. Curse their generations to come. He's always so helpful. All right! Time to do my best to earn Miss Kobayashi's love and praise! The lady who lives here should be gone all day, but let's make this fast. We'll be in there before you can say open. Kobayashi. What is it, Takya? Wanna grab some drinks tonight? Sure, but like only one round. So why me? There are plenty of other girls you could ask. I don't want to go on a date. I asked you because you're like one of the guys. Wow, how sweet. <clears throat> What's with that girl staring us down? Do 
you know her? Uh... Greetings, I'm Toro Kobayashi. Miss Kobayashi's new maid. Her new living maid. New Violet's living maid. Yeah, it's my turn to take care of the special cousin. I'm Makoto Takia. Kobayashi and I work together. It's nice to meet you, Toru. And also you, Mr. Takia. This we man is clearly attempting to, to seduce Miss Kobayashi. I, I shall not allow it. Of course I can drink. You stool too? Stool too? <sighs> I love a good drink after work. It's the best. Miss Kobayashi's <laughs> the cutest. I take it you won't be joining us in our fight against sobriety? I won't. Got it. I do not yeah. intend to share I drinks with him. What do I do about this silly man? The laws are too strict in this world to do what I want. I know! I can vlog yeah. how wonderfully close Miss Kobayashi and I have become! We're only secondary or tertiary subcontractors, so why bother complaining? Because I don't like how following their directions consistently means we fail, and the developers don't even notice unless we point it out. But making sure they don't have to notice their faults is part of our job, so again, why complain? I just think foisting their problems on us is a pretty sucky thing to do. I can't follow what all they're saying at all! Change based on what roles Speak Dragon, are. please! Uh, I'm so sorry, Toru. Uh, We're not exactly including you in this discussion. Uh, no, it's fine. The topic's just so trite I don't feel like joining in! Okay... We should be discussing the ramifications of Ragnarok and Armageddon! Uh, it doesn't matter, I've had enough! Time to use floor! Let the jackals beat off you when you're dead! and I go drinking because we like to talk about all things made. As an undercover otaku, being able to share my passions with someone else is kind of precious to me. I understand that perfectly. And I'm assuming this means you won't mind a little surprise. Just say I drink too much too. You really like Kobayashi, don't you? Yes. Since we're being so honest, you should know I hate you. Soil their clothing with waste products? This <laughs> Kobayashi's <laughs> waste. No, <sighs> oh, there's no more live. I've said this before, so don't make me say it again. Please stop licking my laundry. Okay, then I'll take care of it by licking you directly. No licking me! Can we discuss the laundry? Am I doing it wrong? That's putting it mildly. Tell me what you do beginning to end. Well... First, I use my clairvoyance to make certain your pockets aren't empty. Good. Then I separate them into piles by color and wash them in appropriate detergents. Good. Then I wash the delicates in my mouth. No! 
I told you I produce a life without removing so stains. Yeah? I told you nobody wants to see that. Oh, we lucky you didn't make it better. It's spit, oh. not style. Another thing, you can't wear the same thing every day like you're in some anime. You're going to have to change clothes too. But these are my scales. For real? Yes, they're a part of me, so I'd rather not take them off. Oh, makes sense. Uh, what's the matter? It's just, uh, I bought you some personal clothes. <gasps> Thank you very, very much! Well, you're doing a lot for me, so I wanted, um, to show appreciation. Uh, Miss Kobayashi, would you like to have a sacrifice later? How fun, care for my fresh blood? What am I, a demon? Oh, heavens no, you're practically an angel! But whatever you do, please do not start serving God. Look, just try it on. <sighs> well? It's tight. <sighs> What size bra do you wear? A D! It stands for dragon! <sighs> At least you bothered to learn something. Oh crap, I gotta go. All right, Toru. Use the internet to study up appropriate hygienic practices until I get home. The answer what? Right, dragon. Oh. You look it up like this. I understand. I'll see you later then. Safe travels! <laughs> Internet. Hmm, I still don't quite follow this. I can just ask Fafnir to help me out again. Kill them all. Or maybe not Fafnir. Hetzel Kuwadu is knowledgeable, so I'll try asking her. Lukawa, hey! Toru? It's been like forever. So blah 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 and yada yada? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this doesn't sound like a problem of clean or dirty. Huh? Well, you remember Needhog, don't you? The one who gnawed on that tree's roots? The world's tree, yes. No matter how much Needhog's poisonous things pollute Yggdrasil, the goddesses purify it, so the tree stays clean. However... Yes? What do you figure happens to the spots he gnaws? Uh... As I recall, he leaves energy behind. Something like a curse? Yep, that's it. This Miss Kobayashi you speak of is worried about that. Of course! Thank you very much! Toru, mm -hmm. are you enjoying living amongst the humans? I am! At this rate, Miss Kobayashi's laundry is never going to get dry. I know! to doubt my maid teaching skills. What just happened? I know that breath. I know it well. <laughs> Surely there's nothing wrong with inhaling this <laughs> thing. I don't imagine you need sleep. Nope. But I want to sleep with you, so I think I'm going to go to bed anyway. Whatever, do what you want. I have a feeling you don't need that. Well, nighty night. Yes, good night. <laughs> it's cramped. Do you want me to go? That's uh, fine. Toru. What made you think a kitchen fire was a good plan? It was more of an instinct than a plan. You know the stove makes fire, right? Yes, but I didn't think it would be strong enough. Strong enough to what? Incinerate the kitchen? I worry you may have brain damage. Which reminds me. Why have I been letting her go shopping on her own this whole time? Probably not the best idea. 
Hmm? Maybe she's not a disaster there. Wait. Huh? Aren't we going to the shopping district? You mean you don't go to the big supermarket over there? Oh, no. That place feels like a castle and completely freaks me out. Castle? Yes, and the whole thing's white, too. Gives me flashbacks to run-ins with Crusader's bases. That's unfortunate. The shopping district's more like the guild's bazaars. It's a little better. So you shop based on dragon PTSD. Good to know. You want to start by picking up some fish? Sure! Taru! What's up? <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Toda! <gasps> You're normally out here alone, aren't you? Is she a new friend? No, she's my master! Huh? Uh, hello. Toru's a pretty funny lady, huh? We've got some good mackerel in today. Sound good? Hmm. Sounds great! Let me have two of those and two dry jack mackerel. Coming up. He gave us an extra filet of mackerel. Wasn't that sweet of him? Why and how are you friends with the fishmonger? Huh? We're not friends, though. I was just nice to him at first, so he's been nice to me and gives me free stuff in return, that's all. The more I get to know you, the more I get you don't know how humans operate, like, at all. Oh, now don't worry, things are different with us! We share mutual love! Like, at all, at all, don't get it. Hey there, Toru. So what can I get you today? A little extra included. <laughs> that's so sweet! Here, too? This is weird. Hey, long time no see! Hello! It's the cosplay lady! That's me! Have a good one! Oh, this dragon's cool. better at being Not social than bad. me. So Miss Condescending calls us foolish, inferior humans and whatnot, but she's working this crowd like a champ and seems to enjoy it. Maybe she doesn't hate us after all. I didn't mean to keep you waiting, I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. Now that I think about it, I kind of hardly know anything about Toru. I think I'd like to know more. I think. Probably best not to bring up that whole injury thing, though. It's clearly a touchy topic for her. Wanna grab some dessert, too? What? You mean it? Really? Sure, what do you want? I would like to have an eclair, please! Did you know that the word eclair translates to flash of lightning? I did not. Speaking of lightning, talk to me about Thor. Is your name related to his? Absolutely not! It comes from an author in this world. At least that's what my parents have always told me. Right. Of course you have parents. <laughs> Oh. Someone help! He's got my purse! Do you mind? May I get him? What? I don't know. Can you do it without people knowing you're a dragon? Yes! Here I go! Too far away to catch now! that hand for a while. What's your tail like? Oh, oh it's sweet and creamy! Astounding <laughs> humility. This is what I let into my house. This girl thing has to be Toru's friend. 
She's got horns and a tail, too. Toru would be out shopping right now. What do I do about this for now? What's your name, sweetie? You, break up with Lady Toru. Hmm? Lady? Sorry, what did you just say? I know the truth. You seduced her with your... your body! Hmm? You cuckold! Hmm? You slut in glasses! Okay, pretty sure you're making a mistake. Don't slut shame me! Break up with her, slut! You're okay! Get her back! Okay, Miss Kobayashi, I'm finally off! She's an acquaintance of mine. Figured as much? Lady Toru completely disappeared, so I came to find her. Completely disappeared? Toru, you oh. should communicate with your friends better than that. I know. I'm surprised you found this place, Kama. I saw you breathe fire on those clouds the other day, and I sensed your magic. Right. It's almost like you shouldn't have done that. Lady Toru, why are you dressed in such an odd outfit? Will you please come oh. back home with me? I need you, Lady Toru. Uh. I'm not going home. Uh. But why not? Why? Because I'm in love with Miss Kobayashi! Be serious. I knew it! What? I saw you on your little date at the bazaar, holding each other's hands in public. You pervert! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> why are you blushing? You should know, if I must, I will kill you. <laughs> story short, it's like this? Yes, like that. I'm sure they want her to reflect on her actions. It would be useless for me to send her back. So right now she's all on her own. Yes. Kana? Do you want to stay here with the two of us? <gasps> Hold on! Why'd it take you so much longer to decide to let me stay, huh? Once you're stuck with one, you might as well have two. I don't trust you humans, no! You must be plotting something! You just want to use me! You can't trust anyone in an unknown world. Hey, that makes sense to me. I wouldn't trust anyone either. I think a person has to earn trust. And that can only happen after you become friends or get, like, romantically involved. Listen, Kana, I'm not asking for your trust or friendship. You can live here. That's all. That's how I spent all of my time. 
Kana, would you like to go play outside with me today? <laughs> yeah! Care to join Miss Kobayashi? Yes! Please join us! I don't exercise. <laughs> And where, where? I don't know. I landed in the first big field I saw that looked pleasant. <sighs> well, whatever works. I'll be here sleeping off the fatigue from my death ma. Wake me up when we're finished playing. Then figure out how to get us home. All right, if that's what you want. You ready to play even if it's just the two of us? <clears throat> your dreams. Whatever. I'll be sleeping in this spot. Try to keep your playing around my level. Sure! Well, there you have it, Kana. Let's start by recalling exactly how Miss Kobayashi usually acts. Okay. The power of dragons. I've seen it a few times now, but it's still terrifying. If they wanted to, this world would be gone. Otherwise, you'll be squashed by a car. 
That's what those iron boxes are called? Lady Tower, you're smart. <laughs> How do they move around? Probably with magic. Apparently you need a device called a license for them. Does Kobayashi have that? A license? I bought her riding a car. From what I understand, she possesses a license, but she does not have a car. Cars impose strains called inspections, loans, and tires. It seems power comes at a price in every world. But wouldn't it be easier if she just had you carry her? Why doesn't Kobayashi do that? Great question. Wow. You've got another relative with you? This one a maid too? Gothic Lolita. A Gothic Lolita with a tribal theme. Huh. Interesting twist. Toru said she was going to teach her some things, so I'm a little worried. Why? Toru seems to have her act together. You think so? Well, at the very least, I'm confident she has compassion for her friends. For real? That is hilarious! Are you serious? Yeah. What's he saying? Know, right? Magic words. You can get through most you know? conversations real using those phrases, so try to remember time. them. What's that thing? I don't know. A tool children play with? How do they play? It looks like it uses the principle of levers, but... <laughs> That's a training device for catapults! <sighs> this is how human children learn the means of combating monsters in the sky! Oh. What's that? That's called a creep stand. Wow. Well, well, it's sweet, like the eggs of a yatagara soup. What's that? Oh, that's an ice cream stand. Oh. It's cold, but yummy. This world is peaceful. It is, isn't it? Are there dragons here, other than visitors? No, it seems there aren't. I don't know if they went extinct or if they moved away. Yeah, Is no, it I bad to revert to my original like form? No, not as long as you don't allow that form to be seen. Have you learned how to use perception blocking yet, Kana? Not yet. That's okay. Besides, it's not like there's ever any real need for it anyways. <sighs> um, Lady Toro? Yes, ma'am? Why did you decide to come to this world? All the rumors I heard said that you died. I was happy to find out they were wrong. Well, to be honest, I came to this world just to escape. I was on the verge of death when I got here, but Miss Kobayashi saved me. Kobayashi? I decided to repay her by being her personal living maid. Meanwhile, I let people think I was dead. I've only told a handful of dragons about my survival. Like Miss Lukua and Mr. Fafnir. That's neat. You kind of sound like a retiree. <laughs> I guess I kind of am. You know what's funny, Kana? I'm very happy. Right in this moment. Mm. Come on, Kana! There's gotta be more stuff you want to know about! Kobayashi's work. Uh, she might get mad at you. So what? I want to see. Well, all right. Let's go say hello to her then. Feel free to change. I block perception of us. Just a toy kids play on. How about that? <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. Yeah. This toy is great! Glad it makes you happy. To 
too close. Someone's here! Sorry, Kobayashi. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, it's beer time! Oops, excuse me a second. Is there any mm -hmm. juice? I'm officially oh, over this. Out of the way. You called looking for a three-bedroom apartment? Yes. I'd like one as close to this area as possible. How's this? Mm. How's this? Mm. How's this? Mm. They all kind of look the same to me. This one has a bonus feature. The rooftop is actually a common area shared by tenants. Really? <laughs> the sky's so bad! <laughs> what do you think? Well... I guess we'll take it. We've got to get this place ready for the move. First, we clean. Yeah! Cleaning, cleaning, la la la! Beat the dust and dee dee, destroy it! What is no she trash singing? No trash bucket, this will be left behind! New clean, clean everything! If not, then death, 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 do Are you trying to freak me out? So as a dragon, do you like being clean? I suppose so. I like to take baths a lot as well as brush my teeth. You brush your teeth? Do you have like a dragon-sized toothbrush or something? No, I use my claws to pick out the bugs. Bugs? But what about the bacteria? Yeah, they're so small I don't really notice them. But it's not easy to have such a huge body. True, finding somewhere to live was horrible. That figures. What did you finally go with? Sometimes caves, sometimes ruins, sometimes mountains. I've even slept in the sky a few times. Seems dangerous. Although, that would make living anywhere a breeze. <laughs> Actually, no. Why is that funny? Anyway, if I stayed in one place too long, humans showed up. They're the worst. You were like a rare monster. The point is, my body kept getting dirty. But I barely got the opportunity to bathe at all. Ew. When worse came to worse, we would have to lick each other clean. Huh? Kana and I have done that before. <laughs> <laughs> that is inappropriate behavior for humans. Maybe so. But most dragons couldn't care less about all the silly human rules. We don't get sick or unhealthy either way. Wow. Okay, I'm jealous of that. You know what? You're a very sloppy person. <clears throat> you leave beer cans scattered all over, and your clothes stay right where you took them off. <clears throat> what does it matter what I do? That's what I like so much about living alone. Also, your books are not in any order that I know about. Now that's just being too picky. <clears throat> Fine, I can overlook the catastrophe of books. However, you can at least clean up your trash and clothes. Don't forget, this is my home. You don't want Kana to pick up those nasty habits, do you? No. My father must have felt exactly like this when my mother yelled at him. Hmm. You know, Toru, hmm? I keep leaving crap around because I'm happy you're here, okay? I like that you clean up. <gasps> I mean, that stuff's basically a cakewalk for a mighty and powerful dragon like you, right? Uh-huh, it is! Toru, I'd love it if you kept helping out, if you want. I do want, I do, yes! So pretty. Scoundrel Kobayashi. Alright, next up is packing. Right! I know almost all of these things belong to me. Sorry for asking you to help out. Never fear. You can ask anything at all of me. I'll do my best too. Focus, Kana. Stop fooling around. <gasps> See me, Kawayashi! <laughs> Those dead fish eyes are killing me. They're so cute. There's something wrong with you. Can you focus for five seconds, please? <laughs> what? I had no clue I still had this. Focus. Me? I'm all focus. I realized I looked idiotic. I'll never wear that again. Then would you mind if I wore it? 
not at all. Hooray! Thank you! So, how do I look? <gasps> Lovely Lady Toro. Mm -hmm. I think it looks great too. <laughs> I can't say I disagree. Thanks. Although, your clothes seem to always be a bit too tight in the chest for me. Speaking of... Mm -hmm. There's no way in hell you're really just a D. I'm a deeper dragon if that helps. <laughs> ah! Fair win! Great work today, you guys. Yes, you two are so awesome. Finally, time for a bath. Hmm. What happened to the towels and clean clothes I laid out in the bathroom? I packed all of it up in a box for you! Huh? Huh? Do you know which box it is, by chance? Good morning! Sansan moving service at your service! Great. Go to town, boys. Oh, so this is a car, huh? Let's figure out how we're going to use this space. Living room, obviously. Office in here? Sound good? I think I'll take this one as my bedroom. Last but not least... You two will get to share this room. Huh? Wait, this is our room? Yep. You can do whatever you want with it. your back for you? What? No, I'm fine. You said you liked it when I made things clean. That is what you said, right? Ugh. That's your angle? Okay, fine. Come on in. Okay! I have a question. Yes? Wouldn't it be easier for you to wash your body in your human form? Technically, yes, but I can't be as thorough. All of the confusing and finicky rules in this world don't help either. I find the whole thing a little stifling. You don't like your human form, do you? Uh, yes! Uh. And no, it's complicated. Sure. Toro, wash me too? Of course I will. Ugh, too close. wash you as a thanks for yesterday? Do I? Well, hurry up. What? Okay. <sighs> Thank you. This is incredible. Feels like I'm washing a car. Oh, thank you. Miss Kobayashi, you're the best. You're welcome, Toru.
a loud person. No, I'm sorry. Kobayashi, is your hangover making your head hurt? Yeah, I can't believe I feel like this on my day off. The noises sound like they're coming from both neighbors and above. Would you like me to speak with them about it? Actually, if you would, that would be great. Make sure your horns don't stick out, though. Sure, no problem. And if they refuse to listen to me, I'll just murder this member and pulverize them. That seems excessive. I'll start with Miss Sasaki Bay on her right. Coming. Hello. Oh, you're from next door. I'm Toru. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Did you need something? Well, we've been hearing some really loud noises, so I decided to come check it out. I didn't realize I was that loud. What are you doing, pillaging? Just cooking. Uh-huh. Stay here a quick minute. Here, allow me to share some. Stewed rapeseed blossoms. Wow, thank you so much. And if it wouldn't be too much trouble, would you try keeping the noise down? Sure. How could this make such a racket? Now for Mr. Yan on the left side. What? I'm playing music. Playing music? Yeah. Wanna listen? <laughs> Out of the underworld because you sound like Hades crushing Hercules. Best compliment ever. Rock on. Anyways, please try to keep the volume down. Mm -hmm. Last is Mr. Sony on the floor above. I'm sorry, but I have to use a drill for work. A drill? Yes, I make hand carved wooden figurines. Oh, a gorilla! That's really well done. Anyway, one of the girls I live with is suffering from a hangover, so please try to keep it down. Yeah, I'll try. You're the loud one. No, I'm pretty sure that's you. Or it's you both. This from the guy who has to be the loudest in the room? <sighs> What's going on out here? <clears throat> His drilling is way too loud. The death metal's too loud. That creepy noise is too loud. All I'm doing is cooking. Huh? At the moment, all three of you are too loud. We're, We're sorry, sorry Toru. Toru. Why do humans always make the same mistakes over and over? They're beyond help. I'll kill them. <laughs> Excuse me. If I could have a word, please. Mm -hmm. The problem we're all having is that everyone else manages to be loud precisely when we'd rather things to be quiet. So why don't we organize all the times we don't want to have a bunch of noise driving us insane and plan around it? We'll make a schedule out of our noise preferences. <laughs> if some times don't work out, then we can use the power of the earplug. And you're certain this plan is acceptable? These are creatures that haven't learned anything since evolving from apes. You know I'm one of those creatures, right? <laughs> It's not a big deal. I wouldn't mind so much if I wasn't dying in hangover hell. Besides, it's only natural for people who are going about their lives to annoy other people who are simply going about theirs. That's the definition of neighbors. <sighs> you might be too good for your own good. No, I'm not. <sighs> I wouldn't like things if they were too quiet, either. <sighs> <sighs> Consider me to be too loud. <laughs> there are times when I feel like you are, yeah. Does it, um, annoy? Hmm. Kinda difficult to give a precise answer to that question. <sighs> However, for what it's worth, this life's fine. Good enough for me.
What should I do about this? I don't like slowing down so I can be considerate of management's inability to drink like me. Straight to the point as always. Hmm. You should create an excuse not to go. An excuse? We're having a party. Yeah. I was talking to Takia about doing something here. I need an excuse to get out of my job's flower viewing thing. You invited that man to our home? Oh, stop making that face. He's a nice guy. Give him a chance, please. I suppose so, but I'm only putting up with him for you. How mature. In return, can I invite some of my friends too? Friends like who? People from the shopping district? No, like dragons. Huh? Don't worry, they're all extraordinarily well-behaved dragons. Ugh, why isn't that comforting? I'm here. Welcome, Welcome back, back home! Surprise, I'm here too. Oh, hi. Welcome. Come in. Funny how I don't feel very welcome. Now you must be Kana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like your goth lolly thing. Where are your friends, Toru? They should be here soon. Uh, coming! If you'll give me one moment, please. Batman, no, make yourself look like the picture I sent to you. Good grief. I hate this and everything it stands for. Kill me. I'm already dead inside. <laughs> Miss Kobayashi, I'd like you to meet Fafnir. Hello, Fafnir. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kobayashi. That is what is known as a polite social greeting. Polite social greeting? It's a magical set of words that helps even the shyest of people introduce themselves with confidence. Toru, I have a feeling your friend might be hostile towards me. That makes sense. He does have a slight dislike for humans. We're talking about an ancient cursed dragon who's been guarding his treasure in a cave for like ever. You mean Hobbit style? There are more. This one's the last. <laughs> hey, Toru. Hi there, it's been way too long. Miss Kobayashi, this is Ketzel Kawadal. So cool to meet you. Please call me Lukoa. I'm gonna assume all dragons look this unrealistic. Huh? Oh, never mind. It's cool or whatever to meet you, too. Hmm? Everything chill? Yeah, but did you walk here wearing that ensemble? Of course I did. Doesn't really leave a whole lot to the imagination, does it? <laughs> you want to give it a try? Now when you get a hit, be sure to move back a little. Just like that. Oh, you can't attack when he's doing that move. Almost there. Nice work. Hey, you killed him! Ignore that treasure chest if you know what's good for you. Those things are called mimics. Sucks. He died. He's completely hooked now. <laughs> it's great to see Toru smiling. She's not normally the type. Huh? I assume that's thanks to you. Doubtful. I'm just a normal human being. Could be what she needed, since she's never had anything normal before. Her friends are the same way. You know, Lukawa? Hmm? To be honest, I'm grateful to Toru as well. Truth is, I didn't used to smile very much myself. I'd never admit that to her, though. Mm-hmm. The food's ready, everyone! Yay! Watch out for her tail. Can I get you anything to drink? Drink? Yes, thank you. But no offense, I'll need to check it for curses. Curses? Oh yeah, forever ago, Lukua, who was still a goddess at the time, had some major drama go down thanks to being forced to drink some alcohol and Ally of course cursed, which made her get all sloppy with it. <laughs> Will you please stop talking? I'm starting to get that a dragon's past is never good. For the last time! When it comes to fancy butlerman! I said stop, get stop, me stop, 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 and get stop, me down! Stop. The young, handsome, and devilish butler has been taking the world by storm! And say what you will, but he's here stop, to stay! Stop, stop. She's Wait, entirely different when she's strong. What about yeah. Hey, hey, you! You totally want to be me, don't you? Uh... You do too! I thought I already was one. I told you before that fancy cosplay! If you don't like the truth, it's take it off! Why? Stop there! We uh, must have burned our eyes to preserve Toru's dignity! Please, please don't! Uh, stop it! Let go! Uh, I can't see! Uh, I love 
love how no one can not move their body to that. She's been watching school kids a lot lately. You think she might be wanting to go? Who, Kana? Yes, I would assume so. It's only natural after all, eventually every dragon wrestles with ideas like death. Oh, you- Uh, what are you talking about? Kana's journey to eliminate humanity? No, jeez, I meant think she might be wanting to go to school. Oh, right! I see stuff about school on the internet all the time. The internet? Sure got a hold of you fast. Hey, Kana? Hey, Kobayashi. Did you need something? No. I was just wondering, do you want to go to school? <gasps> Kobayashi! Hurry up! Come on! 
going! Kana, stop! You should treat Miss Kobayashi with more respect. I don't understand why you need all this just to go to school. There's nothing to understand once you recognize the obvious conspiracy between the schools and the manufacturer. Total conspiracy. That's doubtful on many levels, Toru. Not according to the internet! So, dragons fall for online BS too. How about we pick up the basics first? Okay! Hello, welcome! Yep, this is it. How funny, these school supplies haven't changed like even a little since I was a kid. No! What? Why no? You're not very cute. They're what? Well, Miss Kobayashi, you're so... clueless. Hmm? Don't worry about it, though. I've got this. Why are we here? Because feathers that have been plucked from living birds during this time of year produce the best pins. Well, that's creepy. No. Looks like you're clueless, too. This doesn't make sense. Back in our world, practically everybody uses quill pens. I want a cute one, though. A cute one. Uh, I think she wants a cute one. Aww. Oh, I heard about a new store that just opened outside the shopping district. It should have cute stuff. <sighs> Hello, Glitter. I'm blinded with sparkling. Kobayashi, look! Hmm? What's this? How am I supposed to use it? You write with it like this. <sighs> You'll be using a pencil, though, Kana. Miss Kobayashi! Good idea! Ugh. Kobayashi, look! What's this thing? It looks like a dragon's mouth to me. It's a stapler. <gasps> or it's a torture device! How'd you jump to that? And what about this? Come on, it's obvious that is a tool for slave branding. You use it to mark your property. <gasps> oh, Miss Kobayashi! Will you please brand me as yours? No way! <gasps> Look, Lady Toru, the unicorn. Why? <laughs> if that unicorn knew about this, I think it would be very happy. Part of me wants to ask, but the other part knows better. Thanks so much. left to get now. Onward ho! <sighs> Do we really have to go here of all places? Sorry, there's nowhere else close to us that sells backpacks. I can appreciate our situation, but I don't like it. I can't help but remember back when... Whatever, we can go by ourselves. I didn't say I wouldn't go! Considering. Great choice, Kana! I had a feeling you'd go with a cursed backpack soaked in the blood of humans. <laughs> that was her reason? <gasps> That'll be 38,000 yen. <laughs> it's not made out of gold, is it? Is that too much? No, it's fine. I'm gonna use my card to pay for this. Of course, we take all forms of payment. Hi, how are you? Miss Kobayashi, Kano's gonna pout again if we go in another store like this. We don't have a choice. This is where the school said we have to go. Conspiracy! Let it go. I think these are the ones on our list. They all seem the same to me. That's the point. They want the kids to all wear the same thing, so they'll all look the same. Why would they want that? Hmm. So no one feels different? Boys, girls, new students, everyone is supposed to be exactly the same as everyone else. That's a big deal. And what happens when you're different from everyone else? They eliminate you. It sucks. I know it might be different for dragons, but humans aren't that accepting of people who are different from them. That's ludicrous. Yeah, I completely agree with you. The truth is, people are just terrified. 
they fear anything different. I kind of understand. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bring the room down. You're sweet to worry about me. Well, Kana, looking forward to school? Mm -hmm. All right, once we get home, we prepare for tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Miss Kobayashi, that's not fair! You should be holding my hand, too! Fine, whatever. <laughs> She's also still a child. <laughs> Any idea what Kana's doing? She's practicing her writing. Oh. So, how's it going? Time to stop practicing. Good morning! Yes, yes, good morning, children. Today I have a brand new student and friend to introduce to you. This is Kana Kobayashi. I'm Kana, and it's a pleasure to meet you. She's adorable! Where are you from, Kana? Ushishir Island. Overseas? No surprise that Kana's classroom introduction is going over so well. Make sure you watch over Kana today, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, Toru is on the job. Good. Let's try this one now. Kana, do you think you can solve it? That problem is so lame. I don't get what she finds so fascinating about school. Correct. Very good, Kana. Such an inefficient way to learn. Putting those kids in different classes based on their abilities would help all of them develop faster. <sighs> their game seems to be simply hitting each other with a ball. Fitting past I mean barbarians. Still only human. Thank you, kids. You too. Yo, Kana! Kana Kobayashi! Hmm? You are getting way too much attention! Ugh, Psycho is acting like a queen hmm? again. Great! Thank you for making things so clear! Uh, now shut uh, up! No one asked your opinion! You were saying? You bet I was! You really pissed me off! You're so cute, I just want to hug you forever! <laughs>
trying, huh? Seems kind of a devious way to settle things, don't you think? I would have obliterated them and been done with it. <laughs> Why did you decide you wanted to go to school? I thought it would be fun to watch the kids. Was it fun, though? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, some aspects might not be too fun. There's no reason for us to try and be exactly like the humans. Living among them doesn't mean we have to live as them. You know what I mean? I do. But they're so close by, and we share our lives with the humans. Embracing them just feels a lot better than hating them. Embracing them? I've seen comrades destroy themselves. All because acceptance was too foreign, so they thought hate was their only option. But there's a choice. And I think for now, I'm gonna go with embracing too. <sighs> so how was your first day? It was really fun. That's good to hear. Miss Kobayashi, I fulfilled my given mission too! Please praise me! You are now praised. Oh, I almost forgot. For you, Kana. Congratulations. You should be able to hang it on your backpack. Miss Kobayashi! Hmm? What'd you get me? What about me, Miss Kobayashi? Me! Ta-da! <laughs> oh, yay! So pretty. What are you doing to your stuff? I'm labeling it. They said I was supposed to put name tags on all my things. Uh, that wasn't too hard. Why? How? Why and how did things get like this? The story starts one day ago. This is real good. You're the best. No, you are. Sorry I keep dropping by all the time. You're checking up on Toru, aren't you? Yeah, how'd you know? Well, hmm? you're not alone. Uh, I'm bored with this game. I would like to play something else if you don't mind. Come on, be honest. You're here to check up on Toru, too. I'm home. Oh, you survived another day. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened? A duel. A duel? <sighs> I shall assist you. I shall kill. Calm down, you delinquents. It happened earlier on the way home. Kana, I've decided that today I'll go home with you, so consider yourself honored with my presence. Hmm. You're very kind, Saikoa. I like you. I like you. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you the best place to play! <laughs> well, this place is huge, but it's kind of a hidden spot, so no one ever comes here. Uh, that's the thing you fly with. What? Fly? Yeah, in the clouds. Uh, hmm? Sure, sounds fun. Let's play on the seesaw. <laughs> Sorry about that, girls. Be more careful, you idiots! What's wrong? Widow baby frightened by a widow ball? Don't be a jerk. We're sorry. Sometimes dodgeball gets crazy. And little kids come here to play too, so you should leave if you can't handle your dumb game. Nowhere else to go. We wouldn't leave if there was somewhere else. It's time for the babies to go home. <laughs> for real, dude? Who hurt you? You'll pay. What? I challenge you to a dodgeball game tomorrow! If you lose, you can't play here! Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you hear that? The infant thinks she's gonna defeat us! Yeah, we're not gonna play with you. But thanks for the offer, we appreciate it. Why? What's wrong? You scared? Maybe you're afraid you're gonna get embarrassed in front of all your nerdy loser friends. Try not being so chicken! What did you say? Don't listen to her, man. Or don't listen to that mama's boy. Uh. Wanna call your mom to see if she thinks you can win against the mama's boy? Is that what you need? Help me, Mama! Help me! You are such a brat! What's wrong? Are the big bad boys fighting by a little baby girl? <laughs> Pathetic much? Uh, fine, snot 
Nintendo's Bring It On! Don't throw a fit when you lose! Oh, what do I do? So you picked a fight and they took you up on it? Mm. How many kids have agreed to help you out? About zero. Psycho is not very popular. I know, I'm the worst! What to do about it? I bet you could still negotiate with them. No way! I assure you, they must fight! Under no circumstances shall the noble and proud dragon be taken lightly! Do you know how to play? Yes! I know as well. I've played a lot of explosive dodgeball. This isn't that kind of game. Come on, we can do this! Yeah! Ah, don't stress, I'm sure it'll work out. Hmm. Had to call in friends. We're not gonna go easy on you now. <laughs> Foru. Huh? No killing. Kay! I knew how it would end at the start. From the onset, their abilities, well, their species, they were on different levels. This game was above and beyond one sided. It wasn't a win, it was a massacre. Uh, it's not fair! You set us up! You're gonna Oof, regret this! Beat up is not his color. Kata, your friends are incredible! Hmm, you're right, they're the worst scum ever. Not untrue, but you could be more delicate. <sighs> I could play this game all day long. Well, what a coincidence. Same here. Yeah, me three. I just remembered. <laughs> now I might be wrong, but have I yet to win against the two of you? I think today's the day. Probably no. Huh, this could be real bad. Do I want to play? Huh? From that moment forward, the playground became a battlefield. of anyone who saw us. You're more and more useful to have around. After that, they took to playing dodgeball on the regular. Pay more attention to your lower back! Oh, is this better? Think old lady about to be deserted! <laughs> Nailed it again. Look, Kana! Isn't it super cute? Oh, yeah, that's wicked. Kana, over here! These are so cool! Oh, yeah, that's wicked. Kana, hey! Hello, Saikawa, you are wicked. Okay, time to start class, kids. What's wicked? What are they talking about? since she showed up? Two months. And I have no idea what I was like before then. Ah! 
The secret to this dish is to marinate it in honey. I should try that. Yeah, maybe then Miss Kobayashi will give my tail meat a shot. Our poll reveals how women really want to be treated by their significant other. Seeing those bag on the wall is number one. Okay, so they're like birds. They pursue love with sound. Pursue love. Miss Kobayashi. Toru. Kobayashi, uh -huh. you know I hate asking, but would you mind helping me out with this? Sure, what you got? Whoa, looks like I'm not the only one who takes on too much. <laughs> I've been wanting to see what Miss Kobayashi is like at work since I first found out she had a job! <laughs> one of my 48 maid skills, perception blocking. Now I can walk around without anyone noticing. Well, looks like I don't have any other choice. Yeah, thanks. You too. Hmm. Oh. Uh-oh, that didn't look very good. <laughs> Takia? Yeah, no. Remember that project Yamashita was working on? Well, there's a big problem with it. And if it's not fixed today, he'll basically be screwed. Ah, sorry. So as of now, I've got to prioritize that. Meaning I can't help you. At least not until that's fixed. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I totally get it. No worries. <laughs> hey, we need to go drinking again. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, can you help me here? Sure thing. Give me a minute, though. The schedule sucks. I mean, it's just impossible. There's got to be a way to push it back. Gotcha. But this still needs to be reevaluated. Humans may gather Let's together, go help go each other, time. and accomplish a lot of things. But their civilization could easily be destroyed by dragons. Bottom line, I still think dragons are way better. Kobayashi! Come on, you gotta be done by now! No, not yet. Yeah, what are you doing? Are you completely useless? Did you forget the part when I told you to finish it immediately? <laughs> Who's this jerk? I mean immediately. Big shot. Are you the chief is yet again pushing his work off onto Kobayashi. Well, it's not because his paid, project isn't even that crucial. Listen, honey! You better quit screwing around and finish this thing fast, got me? Understood, sir. <sighs> Christ. Cheesy <laughs> ah! <Jeez>, guy. <sighs> Serves him right. That ought to cheer up Miss Kobayashi. <laughs> I thought it was blocking perception. No, there's no way anyone knows I'm here. I guess I just kind of had a feeling, but whatever. 
I bet my job was a lot more boring than you expected it to be. No, it wasn't boring at all. I wanted to learn more. More about you, I mean. And I did. Cool. Ready to go home? going on with you, but you've been a lot happier lately. I wonder what I was like before. <laughs> I've already forgotten. I heard someone got the Chief Kent for abusing his power. Apparently, the director got an anonymous recording proving it. Whoa, who do you think turned him in? Okay, I'd like everyone to find a friend. When you're paired up, draw a picture of your partner. Hey! Uh, hi, Kana. Do you want to draw me, maybe, please? You're my friend. and potatoes! <laughs> Hooray for vegetables that are in season! And since they were cheaper than I figured, I can pick up some snacks for Kana. I've made the decision to live in this world for a while. What? Seriously? To be honest, I don't recommend it for you at all. You know you're gonna have to live with humans. Yes, I know that. But if you can do it, then so can I. I guess that's true. Ooh, maybe you could stay... somewhere that's not here. Do you have any thoughts on where you want to live? I imagine a nearby mountain should suffice. And now for the news. Last night, accounts of a monster spotted in the mountains were called into emergency services. Police were dispatched to investigate a creature that's reportedly 20 meters tall. What? Don't judge me. Why should I be forced to hide who I am in order to appease the humans? Perhaps I should simply destroy them. Oh, stop being so dramatic. If you want to live around humans, you have to fit in. That's just the way it is. I know restraint sucks. Hey, you know what? I don't mind helping you search for a new place to live. Uh, you sure you want to get involved with that, Toru? Yes, don't worry, I'll be fine. I can do this. You in, Fafnir? Hmm. It certainly won't hurt to see what you can do. Just the other day I watched Miss Kobayashi move out, so I've got the process down. Oh? First you create a family registration, then a proof of citizenship, a bank account, and a personal seal. You gather all that stuff and show them to a realtor. I don't have those things. <laughs> nope, so? I created them all for you. Hold on. Holding. Huh? Is that me? Yes, your dragon form looked like a Takashi Oyama to me, so I went with it. <laughs> You're too much like them. Huh? You have grown far too close to these humans, Toru. What happens when you return to your world? Will you kill them? Will you even be able to anymore? Uh, doesn't matter, I don't intend to return to my world. Why would I? This is clearly where I belong. Eventually, that human you've become so attached to will die. What then? Look, I promise you I'm fine. I know the more I treasure being here and these moments, the sadder I'll be when the time comes. But I'll embrace it. I never want to confuse those feelings with regret. Because she's worth it. <sighs> Come on, green means go! And you genuinely believe these creatures are worth such high praise, do you? Yes, I do! 
Miss Kobayashi is one of them. What's the deal, Fafner? Why so worried about me? I was merely curious about what humans are like in this world. No more, no less. Well, if it isn't Miss Kobayashi's maid. That's me. Can you help us? So, what's your budget? You mean payment? <laughs> Sorry, but we take money, not gold. 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 That was a bust, huh? This isn't a problem. I can just go steal. No, nope, no, you cannot. I cannot fathom no currency exchange. This is such a limited world. Yeah, about that. It seems... I don't know, are you sure it isn't best for you to live in your own world and just come, like, to visit? It's gotta be hard to live here without a human you get along with. Ugh! Hmm. <laughs> Except that there is a human you get along with, Fafnir! Yes, who is it? <laughs> hey, Toru! Oh, what's up, Fafnir? Good to see you. Kinda weird that you know where I live, though. I asked Miss Kobayashi. Mr. Takia? How can I help you? It's, um, Fafnir has no home right now. Would you mind if he stayed with you, please? You want Fafnir to live here? Yes, is that okay? Sure, it's totally fine. What? You, you mean it? Well, it'll be crap, but I don't mind if you don't. Are you sure? Like, sure? I know I'm one to talk, but this guy's a very dangerous dragon! Huh? The last time we met... You like that game? Yes, but I'm curious. Are there more? Why don't you come on in? Tell me about these games. Uh, you got it. Something makes me think maybe Fafnir's decision to stay here had precisely nothing to do with me. Correct. Let's conduct the experiment according to the chart located in your textbook. Okay. I forgot to bring my book. Uh, Share with me. Uh, Yes, well, if I have to. Now, please give me the spoon. Physical strength is not necessary. I'm going to bend it using my mind. <laughs> that spoon was not bent with physical strength, I saw it! And as far as I can tell, he didn't use magic. Like this, right? I feel like it was something like this. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Guys, you destroyed them. Yeah, we're sorry about that. What were you trying to do? Over there! Look there! Look there! Oh, right. Of course you were. I guess you've never heard of psychic powers before. Psychic powers? So were you telling me that humans really do have hidden powers? <laughs> I told you Miss Kobayashi was no ordinary human! She's a Kobayashi god! Yes, she yeah. is! Listen up, dragons. This is a trick. Anyone can do magic tricks if they learn. Sorry, anyone? I've heard of this before. There's a should-be forgettable movie that talks about it. About how humans only use approximately 10% of their brain capacity. Basically, if humans weren't so lazy, they would be able to have superpowers. All they have to do is try. Such potential killed by inherent laziness. I can't forgive that! Damn humans! I have a strong feeling I don't like what you're thinking right now. Lady Toru, I found this book on Kobayashi's shelf. Uh, well done, Kana! Oh, I bought that thing forever ago. According to these instructions, there's a move that allows power to enter your hand! It's fictional, though, not real. Uh, that's not true! This book is clearly instructional! I'm gonna train with it! <laughs> Susceptibility could feed an entire cult. I know, right? Come with me! Why not? I got nothing else going on. Wait, let me fix your spoons real quick. I don't get this. You don't need psychic powers. <laughs> That's great. Very cliché. May the surrounding energy tell me if I'll actually learn anything this way. <sighs> it doesn't matter if she can do it, so why? It's see the mind. 
Right now, I have no desires. Kobayashi, I'm hungry. <laughs> For you are weak. wants to understand humans. That's why she's so desperate to understand the things about us that make no sense to her. Hey, Toru. First, you gotta find the spoon's center of gravity. Then you just use the principle of leverage like this. There. Once you understand, it seems obvious, huh? This is fairly simple, but there are some things that aren't this easy for everyone. If you ask me, I think you should focus on those special things only you can do. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Thanks, Miss Kobayashi. <laughs> I get it now. I can make electricity. Oh. Now the beautiful assistant has entered the box. Watch closely. This is the super magic of instant <laughs> teleportation. Here it comes. This is the moment of the century, folks. A maid? What the hell just happened? A maid has appeared from the box. This isn't what was planned. Sour pork with pineapples? I hate when they serve this crap. No! It's too cute! You're likely to have leftovers. So have some extra. Kobayashi. 
Ashi. She's my guardian. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Kana's mother. What? Do I look old enough to be her mom? Don't let that pudge you, Miss Kobayashi. After all, if you were my age, you'd be old enough to be every human's mom. Young lady, I believe introductions are due. If you say so, introducing our, um, our family's maid. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Georgie, and I am proud to serve this wonderful family. What's that outfit about, Georgie? You don't look like much of a maid to me. Where's the basic black and white? No, there's actually not a set uniform for the maids in this world. Unfortunately, as the role of servant grew larger and more formal over long periods of history, their outfits evolved into what is commonly thought of today. Thank you. This maid outfit is a simple one created with the wages of a girl who's recently entered the service. I am humbled. You have a discerning eye. You mean... That's right, we are... Allies! <laughs> Please, Miss Kobayashi, you can't let yourself be influenced by this maid in her ugly outfit! Oh yes, you must be Toru. I've heard rumors about you in the shopping district. Honestly, I've wanted to discuss maids and well anything with you for a while now. We're so ready! <laughs> Please, come this way! <laughs> sister then. Huh. I wonder if Georgie is her real name or just what she uses when she's dressed up like a maid. She wasn't actually a maid, merely a maid fanatic. 
I'm confused. So confused. What was Kana gonna do to me earlier? Dragon style. Ugh. Will it ever stop raining? <coughs> Say no more! <laughs> Hold up, you mean you also decided to move from your world to this one? Mm-hmm. But why would you do that? Well, lately I've been hanging out with you guys more regularly, and travel can be such a beast, you know? I don't know, I guess I just like being closer. What? Closer? Yeah, I'm staying at someone's house not too far away, just like Toru's doing with you. Hey, do you maybe want to swing by and see it? As long as it's okay, yes, definitely. Great, you can help with a misunderstanding. The what? So funny. But our silly little mix-up is partly why I thought staying in this world would be a good idea. It all started one day while I was on my way home from here, mostly minding my own business. Wait, it feels like someone is performing a ritual nearby. What? A kiddo? Might as well! let yourself get summoned by a ritual performed by a curious child? And then he said, Sure, I'll be a servant kid. Don't be so judgy. Besides, this family is apparently part of a long line of mages, so it could all wind up for the best. Mind clarifying the misunderstanding that needs clearing up? Yeah, so he got it into his head that I'm a demon. I was hoping you might be willing to talk some sense into him and make my life easier. Yay! We're here, guys. Welcome to Shota's house. Well, come on in. Uh, sure it's okay? No one's at home now, I swear, you're so paranoid. Just follow me, I'm crashing in one of the rooms upstairs so we can chill out in there. You want some tea? I'd offer something else, but I don't have that. Hey. Yeah? I want to ask something, but I'm afraid it might sound rude. Hmm? What the hell are you, Lukawa? Yeah, sounds rude. Sorry, it's just I thought you were a dragon like Toru, but now I'm thinking that might not be the case. My bad. Talk about rude, I didn't tell you. I don't have a category per se, but I guess you could call me an ex-goddess. Yeah, I like ex-goddess. Why ex? Because she was served that cursed liquor, and then while she was drunk, she <laughs> got <laughs> Oh yeah, you've mentioned that before. Long story short, she was forced out of being a goddess. Then you might as well be a demon. Well, I'm still responsible for spreading civilization far and wide, so it's hard to call myself a demon. Plus, I'm like a really good being, so... I prefer ex-goddess. Or feathered serpent. Or Venusian, even. Okay, ex-goddess is gonna work for me, too. Oh, sounds like someone's home now. It's Shota. He's the one who summoned me. Poor kid seems super fidgety. Right? He's always like that when I'm home. Well... When he's with an older woman whose body is an agitator of lust, it's gotta be kinda unsettling. I know, and that's why I've tried to study his nerves. I've snuggled with him, I've taken warm baths with him, but none of it seems to work. Ugh. <gasps> she invited people! Welcome home, Shota Baby! Bad Demon, I know you know a familiar can't act on their own! You're gathering allies! Are you planning to take over our home because no ma'am? Fancy. He really wants to be the strong guy, huh? I know, he's adorable! Mm. Sorry. Can you forgive me? Mm. Yes, as long as you behave! Look, I get it's scary to have people at your house you don't know, but I invited them here to help you understand me better. What do you mean? I want you to know I'm not a demon, I'm a dragon! Isn't that fun? Stop lying! I used a demon summoning circle! Which I noticed and thought might be a little dangerous for someone your age, so before a mean old demon could show up, I decided to answer the call first! What? No way! I, I don't have enough magical power to summon a dragon yet! Huh? <gasps> no, you're just bluffing to make yourself seem more powerful and trustworthy! Bad demon! You won't fool me! Literally does this every time I try, it's so cute! Womb crippling. Hey, Shota? Yes? I've heard about how you're from a family of mages, so why perform a summoning ritual? Um, it's cause I wanted to be accepted now, to be a full-grown mage. Mages live pretty quietly here, but we maintain our power for when we return to our world. My father has been in charge of that all by himself. He's working hard to pass down his knowledge and strength to me, but it seems like it's taking forever. I just want to be better, faster. 
Ah. So you summon Lukawa in order to prove that you have your own power because of daddy issues. Wow. Kind of makes me feel bad for Lukawa. Oh! I never thought about it like that. Hmm? Let's say she was a demon. Sure would suck to be summoned for no reason. And what exactly were you planning to do after she materialized in front of you? Take her along to elementary school? Why would any demon stay with you? You're right! Everything you say is the truth! For real? She's right, Luca and I'm sorry. Wait, does this mean he's gonna want me to leave? Please don't send me away! I don't wanna go home! You wanna stay? But you can't just live at someone's house and do nothing in return, Lukawa. I mean, take a look at me and Miss Kobayashi. I'm working as a splendid maid to help her. Uh, splendid? Don't be mean! My mom takes care of all the housework and stuff like that. Huh. In other words, what you're saying is that I need to do something specific for Shota if I want to live in his house. How would you feel about me giving you more gold than you could ever use? I don't need it because my dad is really good at alchemy. Does agricultural technology sound like fun? No way, I don't want to be a farmer. Everyone could use some crazy strong charisma, am I right? I think that would just cause more problems than it's worth. How about vast magical powers then? Mm, now that one is kind of appealing. Consider it settled. But no thanks. No, but why? I don't believe there's a point in having vast power if you haven't worked hard to earn it for yourself. What? Huh? Gotta admire the yeah. integrity. Lukawa, it doesn't look like you're gonna be any help to him. There's one more thing, and it's all I have left. <gasps> My body. <gasps> I know it! You're a demonic succubus! What? Oh, yeah, no. you basically tied your eyes with that move. That was awesome. It's nice to see Lukawa get flustered every once in a while. All that effort and she's just gonna be treated like a succubus. <laughs> By the way... By the what? I noticed something that struck me as unnerving about that house. Oh, really? Do tell! From what I could see, it was pretty ordinary. It's about who Shota's father is. I saw some pictures of him around the house. I think he's the director of my company. What? Small world, huh? <sighs> hey, Shota! Must be what rainy season means. Let's hang these up. Huh? What is that? A ghost? A Taro Taro Bozu. Taro Taro Bozu? Will something that simple really make the rain stop? Eventually, yeah. Kobayashi, have a good evening. Yeah, same to you. Guess I should head home too. I'm hungry anyway. Looks like someone didn't put in overtime today. I gotta admit, I'm happy you came home early. I come home when I can. Takio went home at the regular time too. Still tooth. You know, I haven't heard anything from Takio about Fafnir. I hope they've been getting along okay. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen Fafnir much lately. I saw him today. What? Where? On the way home from school. He was in the park jumping in circles over and over. He was mumbling something too. That cursed dragon, what on earth could he be up to? Jeez. Yeah, no way that's innocent. What do kings do? They rule. Citizens! They suck. Yummy yummy! Rules. Come on! Nice! You're really nailing this. You've improved so much, Fafcoon! That's great, but who's Fafcoon? Not you, if you don't want it to be. My apologies, Fafnir. How do you feel knowing you're ready for the call and respond part of tomorrow's event? I can now obtain a limited edition item at said event, yes? Indeed! We're having curry for dinner tonight. Mild? As requested. Thank you for everything. Let's roll. I will not lose. Damn it. Traps. What are you doing? What'd you hide? You idiot. You can't go that way. Boom! Got the weapon. <gasps> I fainted. Victory's mine anew. 
I know. I win next time. Bring it on any time, man. <sighs> hey, uh, Fafnir, I've got this game I'd like you to try playing for just a little bit. The one you're selling at Comicat again? Yep, that's the one. I'm about to the 80% mark now. Where is that? About there, give or take, yeah? Can you not add something here? Gotcha. You know, I thought this felt slow too. I've been wondering, do you know how many hours a day you're logged in roughly? Somewhere around 21 hours. And what level are you at the moment? Level 280. I've cleared all the limited time events, so I'm free now. <laughs> On the fast track to game addiction, huh? shampoo conditioner on my way home from work for you. And that will help me with my hair? It should, yeah. You shooting for another all-nighter? Wish I could, but I've got to sleep. Good night, Fafnir. Stay strong, man. Fafnir. I knew you could do it. We're having natto for breakfast, okay? Is it mild? Sure, why not? Rain, rain, rain. Rain, rain, rain. I can't not love how happy Kana is about her new umbrella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? You really don't know, Miss Kobayashi? This is called sharing a lover's umbrella. I know that's what you think it is, but you have your own umbrella. <laughs> yes, but I prefer yours! Good, it seems they're getting along okay. I shouldn't say this after recommending him, but Mr. Takia is incredible. Being able to live with Fafnir is no easy feat. Humans are either hits or misses. The misses make themselves known quickly, but it takes time to know if you found a hit. Spending that much time on every person would be too aggravating. As far as I'm concerned, the misses that trespass on my home to steal my treasure are my favorite humans. Why did you wait outside? And yet... I can't wait for today's events, can you? That coup? Uh. I don't mind. Huh? You're a hit, Takia. I am? Hurry up. Oh. Right behind ya! Bozo ghosts aren't working at all. Nope. Rain, rain, go away. I love rain. I love it so much. Ugh. Yeah, you're right. Rain's not all that bad. <laughs> Thanks for the effort, kid. Excuse 
Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah? I need you to come with me. Your swimsuit is way too skimpy. Hold on. Well, that was entirely expected. <sighs> they finally let me back out. Why did you think to bring an extra suit? I didn't. These are scales. You guys wearing scale suits, too? They're cute. I'll give you that. Thanks! We looked up designs on the internet. Are you jealous? Of the suit? No. Of what's filling it out? Yes. I wanna go play, please. Looks like we're gonna go play for a little bit. What'll you do here without us, though? Hmm. Probably nothing. What's the matter, Miss Kobayashi? You haven't seemed excited all day. There's a good reason for that. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the beach. <laughs> I think you might have been too honest. Whatever. It's hot, I burn, and sand gets everywhere. I couldn't agree more. I prefer to be indoors myself. If that's true, then why agree to come out to a beach with us? I have my reasons. Primarily, I don't have a whole lot going on this summer. On top of that, my manager asked me if I would look after Shota. I figured going along with you guys was the path of least resistance. Wait, I get it! This is a Sundere thing, am I right? Not even a little. You wanna go play now, please? Oh, right, gotcha, just a sec. Sunscreen, first things first! I'm an inferior human because my skin gets damaged by the sun without these two! <laughs> okay, let me start with you, Miss Kobayashi! Get weird and get fired. <laughs> Here you go, Shota baby. You don't mind, do you? Perfect. How about it? Come on! <gasps> no, I can't! Boo! Then let's switch! family, you know, for the most part. I felt like I was raised normally, at least. They got me through college, so I can't complain. After that, though, I left home to go to work. I call my parents every now and then to catch up. Tell them how I'm doing, stuff like that. 
I, uh, I haven't seen them in a while now, though. And is that considered normal for a human family in this world? I guess. Normal, huh? Then why would she welcome a dragon into her home? And if she's from a normal family, why aren't most humans as accepting as Miss Kobayashi? I don't get it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe humans of this world actually could accept dragons. Kill them! Humans are real! Kill them all! You sure you're okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I just... I feel listless today. I'm not used to having low energy. Toru? Uh, can I ride you? starting to get homesick? No, not particularly. Well, that makes one of us then. Thanks to our discussion, I feel like I need to go visit my parents. I'd like to see my parents every now and then. But it's no big deal. No? Then what's really bugging you? I thought for a second about introducing you to my parents. You can do that if you want. No, I can't. Why not? Because... Pretty sure they'd kill you. Does seem excessive, but that's most likely just common sense in your world, huh? For sure. From my parents' point of view, I'm about as far from normal as you can get. They don't think I have any common sense to speak of. It makes me sad. Talking to Toru about this kind of stuff is intense. And yeah, that makes me sad too certainly drives home the difference between understanding words and understanding each other. I've never really considered how completely different our worlds are. Although, I bet that's why I always feel like I need to cherish the time we get to spend together so much. You know what? That sounds an awful lot like independence to me. Independence? Yep. You've developed your own unique set of values, Toru. So then you mean I've become an adult? Who knows? I'm not even sure about me. Most people don't try to become adults. They just reach a point where they realize they can't stay children any longer. Ooh, that's deep, Miss Kobayashi! Got one! Oh, tiny. <laughs> Ready to head back? Sure! shopping district. Children shouldn't see. 
Thanks, guys. You're saving me. I'm screwed without help. It's cool. I kind of owe you a few anyway. I would have thought you'd ask Fafnir to help you out with this. Uh, he's participating as a circle. Huh? What? He's a circle? Sorta. A circle's a group of people like us. We sell the art we make to other fans. It's way fun. That makes sense. But why would Fafnir ever do anything like that? I recommended all kinds of anime and games to him. At some point, he started drawing his own. He really seems to be getting into this world. Kobayashi, you can handle the sales. Toru, I'd really appreciate it if you could deal with the line. Sure thing. <laughs> All right, bye. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. As of this moment, the third day of Topic Park has officially begun. Guys? What's going on? No running in the hall, please! Please do not run! This is bizarre! It's like they can all barely contain themselves! Something powerful is holding back their selfish desires! What in the world?! The new one, please. Cash or charge? Cash, thank you very much. The new one, the previous one, please! The end of the line for Water Dragon Shrine starts right here! Up there, can you guys move closer together, please? Hard to believe tens of thousands of individuals are able to take such unified actions without any prior exercises or training. An extremely powerful energy must be at work. Uh, excuse me? Who, me? Yeah, are you by chance a cosplayer? No, by choice I'm not. Right, gotcha, I'm sorry. Well, you look awesome. I figured you were from abroad or something. I happen to be a real maid wearing a uniform. Uh, oh, I get it now. You're just in character. How fun! You're wrong! I'm the real deal! Hey, I understand. It's policy. If you don't mind, I promise to come by and take your picture later, okay? No, wait! I told you that I'm real! The end of the line for Water Dragon Shrine starts here! <sighs> These people are passionate. Meanwhile, I'm over here feeling like I'm in a fire drink stomach. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. I can't believe it's this insane! Kami Cat is not to be underestimated. Still, though, what in the world could be attracting this many people and keeping them all in check? It's beyond me, and kind of terrifying. Toru, huh? thank you so much for your help. Uh, Need a drink? I've been waiting for this! from anime and manga. If you wanted to, you could totally do that. I am a proper maid, thank you! No matter how you dress me up, I will always be your loyal sex lady! Uh, that's not proper or maid. Uh, uh, What's up? There's a goblin, a witch, and a sahuagin over there. Wonder what they're from? Nothing, they're real. Huh? They're not dressed up in costumes and they're not human. Huh? Excuse me? Yes, hello. I just had a real quick question for the three of you. Oh, hi. Can I assume you'd like us? Yes. I was wondering what you're doing here. I like to come to these to spread my wings. Same here. I normally live my life disguised as a human. But being able to come to events like this gives me a chance to enjoy my real form. I see that. Why not take a chance and join us, dear? You can let your real form be seen while also being safe. No, 
that be impossible? I mean, I'm a dragon. <laughs> dragon? Yes. You're a real damn monster? I guess. And you, you could eat us all if you wanted. Huh? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, dragons must do some crazy stuff. Don't believe them. Huh? When dragons get hungry, we only eat as much as necessary to survive. And this world is survival of the fittest anyway. So you're not denying anything, just explaining it. Hey, you! Could you come with me, please? Your costume's too skimpy. Did you not read the participants' guide? I didn't expect Lukawa to show up. Skimpy is as skimpy does. Now that I look closer, there's more than I first thought. Beings in their true form, I mean. Are there a lot? Yes. Those that have had a greater presence while they were here have left records of their stays in this world on several different levels. Like Fafnir and Lukawa. I'm sure you've heard of some. As long as you can do it and stay out of trouble, it's fine with me. <sighs> Sorry, that took so long! Can I take your picture like that? <laughs> yes! Excuse me, can I take one too? Hey, me too! Huh? Over here. Can you look this way, please? Look over here next, please. Crap, our break's almost over. Stay there and just move your head this oh, way. Oh, <sighs> See, told ya. I came for your pick like I promised. Right. Hello. How's it going? Uh, to be honest, it's been going pretty rough for me. But I'm hanging in there. Hey, so... From my perspective, it seems like everyone in this place has been drawn here by something with a lot of power. Do you have any idea what that something might be? I'm not sure, but, uh... Well, it's for sure special, and it's only right here in this moment. Might as well make the most of it. <sighs> Whatever this is, it's making a lot of people happy. Sorry. Oh! <laughs> Don't tell me there's another line forming! As of right now, Comic Market 90 is officially over. Thank you everyone for your participation. We hope to see you all again in your winner for the next epic Comic Hat. Thank you again! <laughs> I'm back. <sighs> you survived. And don't worry, we managed fine without you after lunch. I'm so sorry. I honestly never intended to ditch you. I know, it's fine. Oh, hey Fafnir, how'd your book sell? Apparently not all that well. Alright, so what did you think of your first ever comic cat? Well, let's see. <laughs> Mainly it just reconfirmed my love for you, Miss Kobayashi. Huh? <laughs> You ladies, you are a huge help today, like the best assistants ever! And this is still trouble, I'd love to have you help again this winter! <laughs> oh no, I'm done with this! <laughs> what do you think we should print for our next thin book? How about a dragon maid girl? That sounds great! So they gave you free studies? Mm-hmm. It's my summer homework. What do you think I should do? Well, if I were you... I would probably choose something mysterious. Something that I'd like to know more about so I didn't get bored with it. Okay, that makes sense. What you doing, Kana? Studying you. Act natural.
it to lunch? Mm -hmm. It's for next week. I've got a field trip. Oh. Make one. Okay. What kind of food do you prefer? Don't worry about that, Miss Kobayashi. Mm -hmm. I can take care of it. Domestic creativity is kind of my thing. <laughs> oh, is that so? Um, yeah. I'm only the best there ever was. That's funny, because I'm even better than the best. Well, I'm better than even better than the best. Sure. According to you. <laughs> Can't approve your so-called betterness, or are you scared? Careful there, Toru. You're good, but you're not that good. Uh-oh. An inciting incident. It's on! Ready to lose? Three rounds! Into lunch competition! Of course you guys would make a game show set for this. You'll each make three dishes. A salad, a main course, and a dessert. Use all your skills. Entertain me. What is your character even supposed to be anymore? Ingredients are up to you. But remember to stay within the budget as you compete. We don't want to strain Miss Kobayashi's wallet, do we? <laughs> hey, ready? Mm? Begin! They both really want to win this. No, no, Kobayashi cares. Mm -hmm. because you've grown so close to each other. Uh -huh. I mean, you're fighting, but you're not like fighting, fighting. Either way, it's not a big deal. She may be a dragon maid, but she can be my friend too. Excuse me. You cannot honestly believe that you and a dragon are equals. Human. Why 
is Torin back yet? Close enough to the light. Hmm. This is disgusting. <laughs> you hiding out here of all places toru our home have you forgotten all of our laws dragons disrupt the order of this world and are forbidden you are to return with me <laughs> i see you're as boring and persistent as ever surprise i'm not going back lady toru and lady Alma are on very bad terms yeah they're like cats and dogs oh did you learn that idiom at school Good girl. If you ask me, they look like they're about to explode any second. You think they'll be okay? I can't say. Last time they thought three islands disappeared. That's awful. <laughs> Our power may be considered equal by some, but this time, I plan on settling the score. <sighs> Her stomach just growled like no big whoop. I'd be mortified, but dragons don't care about that stuff. After all, uh, or maybe not. She looks embarrassed. Shut up, human! You're being very distracted right now! Well, you've got quite the attitude on you, considering you just destroyed my home. Uh. Maybe you should follow the laws in this world before you try protecting it. Even Toru wouldn't do something like this. Uh, sorry. Problem. I'm sorry! Wait, why do I always wind up doing the apologizing? That says a lot. Hey. She doesn't seem like a bad person, so why don't you all get along? Because we're from different factions. Not all dragons are united in thought. There's the Harmony faction that values law and order, the Chaos faction that yearns for chaos and destruction, and the Spectating faction that doesn't work with either group or even each other. Wow. Elma belongs to the Harmony faction. I'm with chaos, obviously. So we oppose each other. Hold up. You're one of the villains? No, no, that is not true. I am a good dragon, and I'm on my very best behavior in this world. That sounded a bit forced. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm taking you home, Toru. By force, if I must. Yeah, that's right. I'll eliminate you from this world and leave no trace of your guilt behind. Take it somewhere else. <laughs> I've prepared another dimension. We can finish this there. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised to see the fiendish Toru listening to a human. What in this world happened? Hurry up! Hey, you cheated! Who, me? No, I simply respected order like she wanted. It was a peaceful resolution. Now then, would you like me to fix what she so carelessly destroyed? By the way, where'd you send her? The field Kana and I played in that one time. 
working with you starting today. My name is Elma Joy. It's a pleasure to meet you all. No way! What the heck is going on? Why are you here? I could ask you the same question, human. This is my work, so I get to ask stuff. This cannot be just a coincidence, can it? I'm investigating. It's cultural standard research. I want to see if beings from other worlds can really integrate successfully. That makes sense. She did say you were with the Harmony Faction. Wait, can you even do this job? You know you can't use magic. <laughs> Don't be silly! Trust me, I can do human labor better than any human! You just watch and learn! <laughs> what the heck is this? I don't understand any of it. What are these bizarre boxes? And what is everyone doing with them? Oh, I think I did something! Yeah, try this. Ooh! Yep, then you push this. Apologies, human. You do some pretty difficult work. But I've taken the time to memorize Romanized character input in that kind of nonsense, so I won't fall behind anymore. Hope not. I do have a question. When will I receive compensation for today's labor? Oh, that's uh, about a month from now. Do you mean to tell me I won't receive my pay tomorrow? No, we total out at the end of the month, and today's the first, so it'll be a while yet. Uh, then what do I do for rent and food in the meantime? Well, if you commute from the other world, it... <sighs> Let me guess, you can't go back. Right. I don't possess enough power to open the gate between worlds at will like Toru can. I thought your power was equal to Toru's. It is. I'm just as strong as her, but in a different way. Oh. <sighs> Wait here. I know you've got a lot on your plate, but hang in there. If you're gonna be working with me, I'll teach you as much as I can. Don't want you making my life harder. You have my gratitude. That's pretty hot, so be careful. Later. <gasps> I probably should keep quiet about meeting Elma today. Hey guys, I'm home. Welcome back! Guess what we're having for dinner? No! What are you doing? There's a strange smell on you. Is it a dog? No, it's a dragon! Are you secretly cheating on me? Whatever. Uh, Look, so today at work... Wait, is it an office romance? Congrats, you picked up another weird phrase. <laughs> I can't breathe. 
Snoopy show to baby. Festival is coming up soon. Be sure to give that information I just handed out to your parents, okay, kids? <laughs> hey, Psychoa, mm -hmm. what's this sports festival thing? Hold up! Are you telling me you didn't have them where you're from? Oh my gosh, a sports festival is like one of the most fun things ever! There's running, running, ball tossing, ball tossing, tug of war, tug of war. Yeah, and lots of other events where the whole class teams up together. Oh. Our parents get to come and watch for the whole day, too! Like you get to eat lunch with them and everything! And you're like the best at sports, so I bet you'll win it all and be the hero of the day! I mean, your mom's gonna be beyond proud of you after this! <sighs> Gotta work that day. Can't. Kobayashi, take the day off from me, please. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Kana, Miss Kobayashi's in the middle of her death march and on the verge of facing Hades. Give it up already. No. Mm -hmm. Also, what's a sports festival? It's when you train alongside your peers to defeat strong opponents. No, I think that's a bit exaggerated. Defeat Hades fast, Kobayashi. Mm -hmm. Then you can come watch me. Don't be so selfish. Besides, I'll come with you to watch the sports. Why's it gotta be Miss Kobayashi anyway? What am I, chopped liver? No, it's not you. It's just that Psycho has said our parents could come with us for the day. You're like my big sister. Ugh. Kobayashi's like a mom. Reminder, I'm not old enough to be Kana's mom. Although, some of my classmates do have kids already. Miss Kobayashi, you hang in there! At any rate, I can't go. Sorry, but you'll have to make do with Toru. Great, make do. Forget it. Uh, Kana! I never thought a parent showing up or not was that big of a deal. To start off with, it's not like I'm Kana's mother, I'm just a random human she met. I don't think that matters very much because she's been treating you like a mom-type figure for a while now. <sighs> but why? I can barely be around people, how could I be a good mother? This is stupid. I never had both my parents make it to sports festivals. They were always too busy working. I never got upset either. I knew they had to support us. Well, Kana's parents basically gave her free reign. They felt a dragon would grow up strong all on its own. Since she bears the name Kana Kamui, I'm sure they told her she had to make sure to be super strong. But what she wanted was her parents' attention, which is why she pulled all these silly pranks. It just got her banished to this world. It makes sense why she wanted to spoil her and give her that attention now. I get what you're saying, but I still just... She won't come to the sports festival. Really? Wow. It's okay. There's way more to the day than just parents. We get to work together with the whole class to win, and that's super fun. It does sound fun. Except your version of work together and ours is totally different. You shut up! No one asked you! No one has to ask me for my opinion for me to give it. Why are you still talking? Oh my god, shut up! Sports festival. Mm -hmm. Bad luck that it falls directly on our delivery deadline day, huh? Yeah, but I'm kind of not sure if there's really any need for me to go in the first place. Do you not want to go? Hmm. No, it's not that, but I think it'd be nice if I could go. <laughs> hmm? What is it? Oh, you know, just my first time seeing you worry about something like this. Seriously? Hmm. Oh, I guess so. Well, I think it's more of a question of do you want to go rather than can you go? <sighs> so do I want to go? La la la! I'm the cutest, most adorable maid forever and ever! <laughs> oh, I didn't hear you come in. Ugh. Hana, are you still in a bad mood? You should let it go. Lady Toru, perception block me. Huh? Use perception block on me.
guys. Welcome home. I'll get your dinner ready. Kobayashi, don't worry about it. Coming to the sports festival, I mean. Huh? It'll still be fun to be able to work together with everyone in my class. It's fine. And I hope you make your deadline okay. Oh. Kana might have used my perception blocking to go secretly observe you at your work today. I know I felt like this before. Right. It's guilt. Just like with Toru. Toru? That's me. Starting tomorrow, I'll be getting home even later. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. But that's enough for today. You should all be so proud of yourselves. Look at how long you can jump now. All we have to do is keep this up and we'll win the sports festival easy. Yeah. yeah. Kana, we're not gonna let him down, are we? No way. <sighs> You're tearing it up. Trying. Going to the sports festival then? Mm-hmm. Decide that you want to go. Nope. I decided that I ought to go. <laughs> Let me help. Tell me what you need. Huh? Oh. Hmm. Thanks. You're awesome. I know. And next drinking night is on you. Yes, it is. I'll be there tomorrow. Get him next. 
Jeez, Rigo, what are you doing out there? <laughs> Seventh on our program today is the fifth graders' treasure hunt.
If we take first place here, we'll win! This will be the final event for the third graders. Family and friends, they're going to need your support now more than ever. First female runners, take position. Ready? There's no way I could have passed all of them. <gasps> Thanks for being such a good teammate. You were so good. Thanks, I had a lot of fun. You worked hard out there, too. I know. Everyone in our class worked hard. That's why we were able to win. I imagine it's less satisfying not being able to go all out like you normally do. No, it was fine. I like being with the other kids. Kobayashi? Hmm? Thank you so much for coming today, really. you for lunch, Lady Toru. No problem. <laughs> it was hardly anything. Participating in a sports festival as a guardian? What in the world have I become? And when did this change even happen? Although, I suppose it would be rather nice to let loose a little bit more today. I agree. I'm so down. It's been too long. Let's get to it then. Hey, I want to play too! Oh, how fun! All three of us together! Is that okay, Miss Kobayashi? <sighs> yeah, sure, as long as you go where you don't bother anyone. Lady Toro, where should we go? Let's do the same place we did last time. <laughs> oh, dragon. I think we can take the play.
Now, come on, nepotism. Before anything, Fafnir needs to cast the lead of this play. He wants each of you to audition for the role of Little Match Girl. Yay! I can go first! Tell Rue auditioning for Little Match Girl. Just get started. Do not disappoint Fafnir. Matchstick. Oh, please, won't anyone buy a match? Boring. Next. What? Already? I'll give you one more shot. This time, see those heartless humans ignoring you like the trash you are. Uh, Feel it. Then allow the lines to flow naturally. Feel it. Why, you foolish, inferior human! How dare you ignore me and suffer like this? How could you pay Fail. for that Next. match with your death? Hello, my name is Elma, and I'm unrepresented. Matches? Do you need any matches? I don't. Please, sir, please at least hear me out! I can't go back to the office until I've sold them all! What are you doing? The salesmen that come to our company always put on a performance like that. Sucks for them. Next. Good afternoon! I'm Rico Sakua! Thank you for your time! Uh, I... Uh, uh, oh, God, I'm so sorry! To be honest, none of you are any good. To be extra honest, your directing style is way too sadistic for us. Ooh, me! Yeah, you what? Let me direct. I can be nice and firm. And I'll make Shota the lead. <sighs> what are you even talking about? Shota's a boy, not a little girl. Well, you just leave that to me. Shota, baby, come here. <gasps> he looks just like a girl. So cute. Yeah, I'll buy it. I don't know. He's not as cute as Kana. Why is 
accepting this script such an ordeal? Well, I don't think it translates that well, culturally speaking. Not to mention it's slow and repetitive and might bore the audience. True, and we don't want that to happen. Then why don't we try changing things up just a bit? What are you suggesting we do? Nothing too extreme. I mean, I think at the very least we should make it more fun. That sounds good to me! Why don't we mix other myths in with it, like the Casa Tiso stories? Like we have the old man selling hats next to the girl! Well, we could follow the script. I like it! The main character should be a magical girl. She can obtain power to burn this corrupt world, burn it to ash. No, there's nothing from the original left! You know, I've heard 47 Ronin is popular with the elderly. Oh yes, the one about humans and their quest for revenge. I can appreciate that. Are there any dragons? We might as well have some while we're at it, right? Hey, Grandma! Stop making it sexy! Narrator, stop grinning like an idiot!
are you the two responsible for setting this place on fire? No! What? Who would do such a mean thing? So guilty. I'm very sorry. I meant nothing ill by it. It's cool. Don't worry. I am Kurinosuke Oishi. Thanks to this fire, I can easily sneak into the Kira Mansion, so you have my utmost gratitude. What are you doing here? I've come to finally avenge my lord and claim the head of Kira Kozuke no Suke Yoshinaka. Now it's the 47 Ronin? Avenging <laughs> your lord? <laughs> Prepare yourself, Kira! If you'd forfeit your life, come! She did not just do that. That's the source of the corruption and the enemy of all magical girls. <laughs> no! <laughs> no one can beat me in this, my final and ultimate form. I'll turn you into dust! <laughs> they have to stop before they lose control. That's amazing. This must be that CGI. You're darn right I'm spry. <laughs> all right. But I'll have to get serious, too. It's a white Christmas. Here, I sort of got a Christmas present for you, too. Huh? What is it? Merry Christmas, Toru. Enjoy!
place is completely packed today. Leaving the house between Christmas and New Year's is a nightmare. What's that? It's a lottery. I want to do a lottery. We'd need to have tickets. You mean like these? How'd you get those? With magic? Magic? No, I got them during my daily trips here to the shopping district. They just gave them to me. Assimilated much? Okay, with these, you'll get three turns. Woo! The grand prize is a hot springs vacation! Oh, yeah. Hot springs would be nice. I'm getting that prize! As long as you don't use magic. <laughs> I know! Here's your consolation prize, pocket tissues. Pocket tissues! Last chance for this time I'm gonna win her out! Huh? Congratulations! I won! Third prize! You'll be set for the winner now! Enjoy your new warm kotatsu! Oh. Ko what? Yeah, going to Hokkaido to see family. If you want, I'll pick up some Nama chocolates for you as a souvenir. <sighs> Nama chocolates. So what about you? You gonna go visit family? Nope. You got plans? Well, winter Kamaket, obviously. Did you forget? Ah. The train's leaving now. Oh, you're right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I can't believe how much has happened this year. I'm here. Hey, welcome home. Glad you're back. <sighs> Done with work this year, finally. Congrats, Miss Kobayashi. Quick question. That means you don't have to go to the office anymore? Yes, I'm off for the third. Oh. You're always so busy. I hope you'll try to take it easy over the rest of the holidays. That is my plan. This is heaven. I'm glad you won the Kotatsu for us. Yeah, me too. I need to move soon so I can start preparing the New Year's dishes. I even borrowed the tools I need to pound mochi and soba. You realize you don't have to go all out like that, don't you? It's a maid's responsibility to make sure any and all seasonal events are carried out. Uh-oh, do you need to use the restroom? Don't want to get up. Tora, will you go? You can do it for me. You. Okay, fine. I'll go take care of it. Hey, yeah, since you're up, you mind hitting the switch on the rice cooker? Hey, grab me the remote, too. What are you doing? Ah, this is New Year's curry. Is it? Don't worry, it smiles. The New Year's Parlor Trick Tournament will be on January 3rd. You can look forward to several outstanding guests performing in our company. Ready for our show? Yes, hello? Good afternoon. 
afternoon, Mr. Yana. I brought back way too many mandarin oranges from home. You want these? They're sweet. This is a lot. Thank you for thinking of us. If you don't mind holding on just a second, I'll grab you some of our mochi. Good work again. I guess so. What's wrong? It's just as soon as I get back under there. I know someone will come! Maybe not. <sighs> Mr. Sone! Is that a rooster? That's right. New year, new animal. Wow, thanks so much! He's really well made. And I've got the perfect place to put him. Here, we pounded some extra mochi. Have some. You're the best neighbor ever. This time it was Mr. Sone with a rooster for us. Rooster. From the Zodiac? What do those words mean? There are 12 animals in the Chinese Zodiac. Rat, ox, tiger, let's see, what else? Rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Is that a spell? I'm surprised you know. It's because I stumbled across horoscopes online while I was searching for all things New Year. I refuse to accept it, though. Why is that? Because they're big origin stories that the order of all the animals was decided by which ones reached God the fastest on the morning of the new year. Oh, right. I totally forgot about that. The rat stole first place by sneaking a ride on the ox. <laughs> so, what's the part about it you refuse to accept? Pause the story right there. No way a dragon was slower than an ox and a tiger, let alone a freaking bunny rabbit. That is utterly ridiculous. Right, well, it's only a story. Ha! Ow. Whoa, this mandarin orange thing is sweet! Mm. Toru? Yes? I just want to say, you know, for getting along with the neighbors and the other stuff. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, and thank you, too. <laughs> Yummy, it tastes like you! No, it doesn't. Oh, wait a second. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Here. New Year's cards? Yes, I bought them for you. I haven't written one of these in years. Flavor. What? Really? Mm-hmm. 
I used to drink something like this all the time. It takes me back, you know? Oh, when you got drunk and you and your <laughs> sister? <laughs> What's so special about sunrise? This sunrise is the first light of the year. <sighs> it's officially here. Yeah. As is true every year on January 2nd, the Tokyo They're only reruns until the holidays. 
Sunday's out. Which team will win today's race? Totally get how you feel. You want to pick that up, Toru? Negative. I can't step away right now. What do you mean? It's closer to you anyway, so can't you do it? I don't want to go because living here with you is my life now, Miss Kobayashi. Than that if you want to be on time. Hey. 
I made you some hot milk. Oh, Miss Kobayashi? Hmm? I'm sure you have something particular you want for dinner, yeah? Hmm, not really. Anything works for me. Except for that. <laughs> Still no tail? Toru, what about you? What would you like to eat? What would I like? Uh, all right, I guess. Yummy! For real? Yes, yeah, let's do that. Okay. It's gonna be delicious, right? You betcha! Toru's on it! So what time do you expect to be getting home this evening? Hopefully not too late. I hope that too. See you later, Lady Toro. I'm heading out too. See ya! Have a good day! Alright! Here I go! Time to get my maid on! Cleaning, cleaning, la la la! Beat the dust and deep the destroyer! No trash or fuck up that will be left behind! Now clean, now clean, clean everything! <sighs> what? Oh no, you did not. Get down, get to the world! shop at such awesome reviews. Would you like me to make you some more tea? Oh, no, I gotta go. Thanks, though. Sure. I was just... I was in the middle of making trial batches of omo rice for Miss Kobayashi for dinner, and... Well, do you know any cooking techniques that might make it taste a bit better? Huh. Making omo rice better. Hmm. The simplest thing I can think of to do is to use the best ingredients you can find. Uh, yes, uh, that's brilliant. See you later. Thanks for the tea. It was heavenly. I'm sure you meant that as a compliment. The best ingredients. Mm. It's so expensive. Let's see, that plus the best rice, vegetables, and eggs. Uh, wait, I'm over budget. Are you shopping for dinner tonight, Toru? Oh, Mr. Tatsuta. Yes, but this chicken is expensive, don't you think? <laughs> well, that's because it's locally raised, free-range, and organic. I don't suppose you could give me a discount? Sorry, it's already priced as low as I could go. Not even a little discount? I can't. If I go any lower than this, I'll be losing money. I understand. But I do want to thank you for doing the Christmas show. Uh, so I could give uh, you some off on these uh, cuts. Average! Average cuts would defeat the point. The point of what? It's gonna be delicious, right? I have no other options. Shh. 
cure belt should be good. you do? I picked up ingredients for Omu rice, and you had to go back to do that? Just for a second. Goodness, so whose eggs are these? All those? I got them from Ghoul and Kambi's nest. Really? The rooster who is Valhalla's alarm clock? Yes. Do a doodle count! They're unbelievably good. They are? And Ein Harriar told me they were the best quality eggs in anywhere ever. And this? That's a... that's fresh spring water from an elven village. I plan to use it to boil the rice. It's pure. Only problem is I fought with the elves before. So I kind of snuck in and took it. Now, they have every right to kill you over that. I also grabbed some meat from Bullzine and... As well as fruits that are in season over there. Where did you get the rice and vegetables? I thought it would be best to just use the ones they already have here. Good call. The rice in this world is out of this world. Yeah, because they're using magic. Apparently it's what's known as selective breeding. I should see if I could get someone to teach me that incantation sometime. Now then, time to get this cooking party started. Will you help me get this perfect, Kana? Yeah. normal meal Toru cooked me now that I think about it. Dinner's ready, Miss Kobayashi! She presented it to me with such confidence. And it was pretty good, too. Before that, everything she made was so weird. Either way, it's been nice. I honestly can't remember the last time someone was willing to cook for me at all, much less with that level of excitement. I remember telling her the omurice was just okay. Today, I won't. I'll tell her that it's good. Hey, hurry up and get it to me! Forget about that! You need to fix the error! Kobayashi! It's almost deadline time! I know! Kobayashi! Error alert! Fixing them now, sir! Kobayashi! Help over here! On my way, sir! Kobayashi! 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 No! You fool! The 
mere human touches God's sword, their mind shall be torn. <laughs> Kinda. There is one human I can think of. 
You could say I associated with them, if only for a little while. Really? What were they like? <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have to talk a lot about myself now. I first met that human in a deserted village that was in ruins. This should work as my home for a while. rare to encounter a dragon in a place like this. I'm actually only here to hide out myself. Do you mind if I stay a short time? You are a bandit. Yes, that's right. I mistook a noble for a merchant and attacked their party. Now I'm on the run. My comrades have been captured leaving me alone, so I'm currently debating my options on where I should go next. Do you believe I care? I could save you time and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you laugh at me? Dragon, but you're not very used to threatening people, are you? Excuse me? <laughs> it's just not very convincing, sorry! It's not just a threat, human! See what I mean? So, it's okay then? You'll let me stay for a while? <laughs> Do as you please. Thank you! Thinking back on it now, I could have just left and found somewhere else. But in that moment, I guess... I couldn't allow myself to yield to a human. Hey, so you're a dragon, right? What's that kind of life like? What do you mean? You know, like how you can fly? And you possess so much power, you'll pretty much never lose a fight. I wish I knew what it was like to live so freely. Must be wondrous. Hey! I'm talking! At the time, I found myself thinking. What was my freedom like? I had never thought of myself as free before then. I was born with the Chaos faction. I lived with Chaos, and I fought the Divine. If that all ended, would I be free? Would it ever end? Even if it did end, and I was free, what would I do? What would you do if you had my freedom? Hmm? I'd be a maid! A maid? Yes! A maid! I'd wear the cutest maid outfit, I'd greet every single guest with my very best smile, and I would totally fall in love with my master. Would you willingly enslave yourself? Yep, but that's kind of the point. I'd get to have a choice. Mine! Had I chosen it, my life would be so different, you know? Even now, if I could make my own decision between the two options, at least I could choose to stay a bandit or choose to be a slave. I see. Right? I realized that I had never made my own choice either. But I hadn't been as bothered by it as she was. Since there wasn't anyone else I wanted to see, I allowed the girl to stay and chatted with her for a while. I'm probably good to go. You are leaving? Mm -hmm. I think I'll cross over the mountains and see if I can get into a nation bordering this one. I'm sure something will work out for me. Oh, do you mind? Can I ride you real quick? Of course not! I'll never let a human ride me! Shellfish! Shellfish! Say what you will, I would die first! <laughs> I hope to see you again. Goodbye, dragon. And thank you. For what? For spending time with me. She left after that. The annoying human was finally gone. At least, that's how I should have felt. But instead, I felt a little sad. I'm sure. Do you think that person might have something to do with why you decided to become my maid? Probably. I don't see the sort of thing often, but I don't think I'd mind seeing that human again. I get that. Yeah? Oh, by the way, Toru. Yeah? The way you used to talk sounds like an old man. Huh? Well, I think it's fancy! Whatever. How nice. The weather's perfect. to this world. Meh, is what it is.
I promised Psychoa that I would play with her in the park today. Oh, fun. Have a good time. Do you have any big plans for the day, Miss Kobayashi? Hmm. I guess I'd like to spend my day off relaxing at home. I knew you'd say that! So I'm prepared to give my utmost to ensure said relaxation. Cool. Leaving me alone is enough, though. Kana! Be careful! <laughs> I hope the sun comes out today. Shepherd's Purse? Flower language? It's a book about what flowers mean. Georgie is letting me borrow it. I think it's my neat. Let's look up Shepherd's Purse. Oh, there it is. Apparently it means I'll offer everything to you. Here you go, Kana. My everything. You mean me or the flower? Here you go, Miss Kobayashi. Thank you, Toru. Dragons are an amazing bunch. It's not because I'm a dragon. It's because I'm me. I suppose it's about time for me to go shopping. Any thoughts on what I should make for tonight's dinner? Hmm. Alma rice. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. But this time, please make it normal. Normal it is. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Still not 
got back from shopping. Homer ice takes more effort than I thought. Lady Toro went home. No, she's out. She's not here. She went home. Huh? To the other world. Her father came to take her. He's the Emperor of Demise. So you mean she went home? Yes, and I don't think she'll come back to this world ever again. She can't refuse the Emperor of Demise. No. Toru's gone. Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Kobayashi? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Yamashita. I wanted to talk to you about those revisions. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of them. Sorry. Kobayashi. Hmm? Did something happen? Toru went back home. To the other world. Understood. I'm home. Kobayashi, I'm glad you're back. Thanks, sorry I'm so late. I bet you're hungry. Are you all right? How so? Staying this late, pulling so much overtime? I'm good. Kana's staying with Saikawa tonight. Understood. Do you want to go for drinks after we finish? Nah, I think I'll pass. Okay, next time then. Sure. Well, good night, Kana, and good night, little miss. Have sweet dreams. Good night, sweet Georgie. Georgie.
wish I'd told her the Omer ice was good. I would have if I'd known things would turn out like this. Kobayashi, this is home. Okay, then...
you take my maid away? Back off, she's mine! You overstep. I see. If this is the case, we need more room. to you, Miss Kobayashi. Good morning, Lady Toru. Good morning, Kana. Okay, I'm heading out now. We need shampoo conditioner. Yeah? Okay, I'll pick up some more. And don't forget... Eight o'clock uh, sharp, correct? Don't worry, I remember. Kana said she was going over to play again today. In that case, I'll prepare some chocolates for the two of you. We get chocolate? 
Have a good day, Shota baby. Let's go! <laughs> Come on over and try our new waffles, ma'am. Thank you again for stopping by. Oh! Toru? Yes? I'm thinking of going home for the first time in a while. Oh, that sounds nice. I think you should definitely go. Would you like to come with me? to grow old with Miss Kobayashi. One day, the time will come when we have to part. Even so, I don't think I'll ever feel like I would have been better off not meeting or knowing her. So, I'm going to treasure this limited time we do have together.
I promised Saikawa that I would play with her in the park today. Oh, fun. Have a good time. Do you have any big plans for the day, Miss Kobayashi? Hmm. I guess I'd like to spend my day off relaxing at home. I knew you'd say that! So I'm prepared to give my utmost to ensure said relaxation. Cool. Just leaving me alone is enough, though. Kana! Be careful! Miss Kobayashi. Thank you, Toru. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah, it's really tasty. I was hoping so. I've been working on adjusting the temperature and intensity to complement how you're feeling at the moment. Hmm. You dragons are an amazing bunch. It's not because I'm a dragon. It's because I'm me. I suppose it's about time for me to go shopping. Any thoughts on what I should make for tonight's dinner? Hmm. Alma rice. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing! But this time, please make it normal. Normal it is! I'll be back in a bit! Okay. Toru 
is still not back from shopping. Homer ice takes more effort than I thought. Lady Tora went home. No, she's out. She's not here. She went home. Huh? To the other world. Her father came to take her. He's the Emperor of Demise. So you mean she went home? Yes, and I don't think she'll come back to this world ever again. She can't refuse the Emperor of Demise.